few days now to the big challenge. Tell us about the, the big cycle ride. Um, yeah, Friday. So uh, as you said, if you haven't done your training now, it's, it's a bit late. Um, we had a little get together on Saturday, got quite a few people from the football club and people who are coming. So we had a little cycle ride together. Some did 25, some did nearly 50. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a, a, a good effort from Team Ipswich. But yeah, Friday. So we do 90 miles on Friday from Leighton Orient Stadium up to Harwich. We then sail overnight on the ferry and then we do 60 miles from the Hook of Holland and finish at the Amsterdam Arena on Saturday. So fantastic cause. We've had great support. Um, I think there's 152 people in total, and that's representatives from, you know, all the football league clubs. Um, but Team ITFC, we've got 18 people in the team. So uh, we've got by far the biggest team. Um, and so far, you know, we would have raised about £20,000 for Prostate Ca Cancer UK, and we're hoping to raise about another £10,000 for the academy. So, you know, it's been a really brilliant exercise. And, and now I can't wait to go. Yeah. I was going to say, it's a great turnout from everyone who's involved. What's the mood in the camp? Is it nerves, excitement, a bit of both? A bit, yeah, definitely a bit of both because we've got all, I think the, the youngest guy going is sort of late 20s. The oldest guy is 61. So you've got a real mixture. Some of them have done loads of training. They cycle all the time. Some of them, I think it's going to be the, <laughs> the first biggest challenge they've ever done. So we'll see how they do. Obviously, we've sent out lots of information, tried to help them as much as possible. But just to get 18 people representing Ipswich, you know, together and, you know, signing up to it, doing the training, doing the fundraising, it just, you know, gives you an idea of how the people have got behind, you know, the cycle ride in the club. Yeah, a lot of people have got on board as well. So, about Elmy Cycles, for example, they've really helped you out with the gear. Yeah, and we've had our own shirts made up. So every company that's helped us and supported us and the guys that are going, you know, we've gone full Lycra. Uh, so we've got these Lycra T-shirts, we've got Lycra wind tops, and it's just, you know, they're, they're company logos. But as you said, Elmins have been brilliant. The bike shop in town in Ipswich, we've all been down there. We've all got our equipment from there. They've helped us and serviced us, helped us with tra training programs. But like everybody, really, once you signed up to do it, you know, a lot of people have been very, very interested in, in what we've done and how it's been organised. So I think, actually, when we come back, and, and you know, and, and tell everyone what we've done and, and signing up for next year, I think the team could get even bigger. Yeah, got a pair of Luke Hines boots, I believe. Just explain that for us. Yeah, well, we did two days of fundraising, sponsorship at the Suffolk Show. Myself and Alan Lee were up there for two days and we held a raffle. So we had players donating shirts and boots. And I've got Luke Hines boots, so the raffle has been drawn. I'm not sure the name of the person who's won them, but he will be getting, co or she, will be getting contacted today and all the information is going to go on the website. But we raised nearly £700 worth of sponsorship at the Suffolk Show. So once again, you know, great support and we'll be doing a blog right the way through we'll be people will be following us on twitter and, and the ipswich town site on twitter just to because on the friday we'll be doing like an update probably every 10 miles so uh, you'll see us at the first 10 and <laughs> you'll see us getting gradually more and more tired as we get through but you can keep an eye on us and then afterwards we'll certainly come back and tell everybody how it went and and you know how much we enjoyed it